How's it going YouTubers, Cornwall here. Thank you for joining me for another video today. Uh, and today we've got an unboxing of this bad boy. Uh, this is the Xbox One uh, Elite controller. Um, it was released, I thought it was supposed to be released like today, uh, which is the 3rd of November, but they actually released it early or some date that nobody else on the face of the internet seems to know when. Um, but so um, I was a little bit gutted because it didn't look like I was gonna get one, but I managed to get one from uh, Amazon. Uh, Lime have still got them, but apparently Major Nelson did send out a tweet saying that worldwide they're pretty much sold out until the early December. So if you do manage to get one or you've got one, well done. Uh, keep it to yourself. Uh, but if you are looking at getting one, um, then I would recommend pre-ordering it pretty soon. They're probably gonna go like hotcakes uh, ready for Christmas. So on the box, I'll just scooch a little bit further forward. Uh, you've got the picture of the, uh, the actual um, control on the front there. On the side, it tells you what you've got inside the box. The other side just tells you about the functions of the new controller. Uh, and then on this side, it's just a bit of a funky picture of the other controller. And the bottom's just got some safety bits on it. So we'll just open this up. It's a little bit awkward to open. I'll show you. Like uh, so it opens up. And then you've got the, the case there. So I'm just going to pop this to one side. So that's what's inside initially. Um, I'll show you the rest of the stuff inside the box in a minute. So it's quite a hard case, um, so it's going to give your controller quite a lot of protection. Uh, it is £120 in the UK um, and about what's that, $150, something like that. So it's nice that you, you get something solid. It's uh, it's really nice, almost like a camera case. Um, you put it in there, so it's zipped, unzipped and then there we go. There is the controller. At uh, the top of this has just got a little uh, mesh netting, uh, which you can keep your... Uh, uh, leading I guess and different bits and bobs if you want to keep them in there uh, so if you take a little close look in there down here uh, you've got places to keep your paddles the paddles are actually connected when you first get it uh, you've got the the cross pad or the traditional d-pad uh, you've got two sets of sticks there two sets of sticks there and then you've got the disc on there so we'll just quickly take the controller out of the box and pop that on the floor and um, so as you can see we've got the controller here lovely lovely so as you notice the the actual buttons here have got um, almost like a smoked effect effect on them, so you haven't actually got the colours. Um, obviously you've got your Xbox button at the top, uh, and if you can see just here, um, and it says one and two, so you can switch that across. And basically in the, the setup uh, of the controller, you can actually save multiple games, but then you can actually sign it to one and two, um, so you can make it do different things, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's quite nice. Uh, on the side here, uh, you've got your, your connection button, uh, you've got your charging point, obviously your triggers, um, and then underneath you've got your floppy paddles, but also underneath you've got these rocker switches. So if you look at this, and that goes all the way in, flick this down, and then it does half a pull. Um, so that's apparently really good for FPS games. Uh, I've only had a quick go with this on uh, Forza. Um, I've not really done anything else with it, I'm just testing it out, making sure it worked. Um, and then doing a bit of testing to how I'm going to set it up for Forza. Um, the D-pad obviously uh, is um, it's like got a rigid effect and it's like a disc, so it should be easier for other games. What I'm going to do um, is I'm going to do this unboxing and then uh, I'm going to do several videos following on, showing you how to set up the controller uh, and also just how I feel it works with different games. Uh, I recently brought Mortal Kombat accidentally, but that's a different story. Um, but um, this, I'm hoping this disc is going to help me play it a lot better because uh, I really like the, the, the beat em up games, kind of grew up with them a little bit, but um, I find it really hard with the D-pad. It's much better with the joystick, but this, I don't know. Anyway, um, so that's that. Um, so what you can do, you can take these bits off. So just that just pulls out there. And then what you can do um, is it just slots in at an angle. So that's your, your disc bit. And the, everything's magnetic as well. And then it will just slot in. So you have that slot in. Uh, and then the sticks, you can just pull the sticks off and then you leave it clicking with the magnet and then the same with the other stick and then the disc just comes off and you can put another one on. So if we just go into the um, box, so in the box here, that's just a bit of rubber just to make it stand out a bit, uh, that styrofoam thing. Um, but then you've got two, you've got a set of these sticks which are a little bit high raised but they're, they're indented. So as you can see there, it's a little bit more um, indented um, and different things. So you've got two of those. 
and then you've got two of these ones which aren't quite as highly raised um, is that better and then it's got a domed effect to it so you can see it's slightly domed so you've got a pair of those and then oh hang on, Jesus I nearly dropped that uh, and then you've got the uh, d-pad on there so you can all interchange it I'll show you that a bit better because I went a bit high with that it's just a standard d-pad um, and it's all kind of like in brushed metal that the d-pads are and then these are a metal with like a plastic it will be finished and around the edge I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up um, you've got a um, like the the um, beveled effect around the edge if you like and um, that does that so basically all you do if you decide you want different thumbsticks is you just pull these off don't want them anymore I want the domed ones so get them out of the case it's quite nice how you get the little case with them as well to keep it all in keeps it all nice and tidy and then all you do is that's one on and then they just literally the magnets do most of the work and that's in there um, and that's that and then you've, you've got that and um, so um, you can use the other thing I did send a tweet out um, to uh, AC Bongos just to ask him about the battery packs and it is exactly the same so if I just quickly show you you'll actually see my play and charge it battery in there and the original batteries do work with it as well which is awesome and um, so you can uh, use your current play and charge kits with it uh, which is really good I can't get this back on I will do it in a minute you might hear some fireworks outside that's some dickheads because it's not even the uh, 5th of November yet um, so you can use uh, the, the charge pack which is great uh, the other really good function with this is when you first plug it in or pair it up with your Xbox you will get an update for it and basically uh, this controller can be excuse me can be updated wirelessly which is really good so you don't have to mess around with the stick uh, or not stick with the cable to plug it in uh, and different things so you will update wirelessly uh, it, apparently I think the app can hold hundreds I don't think they've actually put a number on it but the app can hold loads and loads of different game uh, profiles and then you've got the two which are your hot swapping ones so if there's two specific games you play or you can even set it up so you could keep everything connected as it is uh, but sometimes I found, obviously I've got to get used to control, but the, the paddles are quite easy to catch, especially if you rest it on your legs. Um, so if you didn't want to use the flappy paddles, you could actually have um, a profile where they're disabled. So they're still there. Um, but so if you're uh, getting into a game, you get quite tense and you want to grip the controller, um, then you can actually use, you can just disable these if you don't want to disconnect them, it's up to you. Um, but then you've got two profiles on the one and two. So if there's, say for me, Forza, and maybe Battlefront when that comes out, I can have two profiles and switch it across and it will do different things and you can even set these up to do different things. Uh, on the side as well, I'll just quickly show you here because I nearly forgot, see it's where it's a different colour, it's actually got more of a rubbery effect to it, so it's actually got a bit of grip, um, which is really nice because I use, have been using squid grips. Um, I'm not going to put one on here because it's kind of destroyed one of my other controllers which I'm a bit pissed off about um, and there's no chance that I will stick anything on this um, just because the sheer amount of money it's cost um, so that's not going to happen um, but other than that it's really good obviously uh, with the newer controllers now you get the 3.5 millimeter jack uh, and then the, the normal on just there um, and that's about it so I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys to it I won't waffle on any longer because I'm sure you've seen a million and one of these um, but that's really good but just one last thing before I do go because I did nearly forget chuck that on the floor uh, in the box itself I'm just going to so in here, yeah, you've got a little bit that you lift up, like that, um, and then uh, in this little bit at the bottom, um, you have got a nice cable. So you've got like a nice, uh, like a, uh, what do you call it, fabric -y kind of stuff, uh, green and black uh, cable, which is really nice. Uh, there's some batteries in there as well, I'll just show you in there. Uh, just in a little pouch and um, so you do get some batteries with it so you can use it straight out of the box um, and then just under the uh, Xbox logo bit and um, just here lift this up and you've just got a few bits of manuals and just telling you about the the controller uh, so it's in its usual um, packaging that you'd expect from an, uh, an Xbox one product these days and um, so that's it so um, I really hope you enjoyed this boxing guys um, I'll be doing a lot lot more videos uh, about the controller if you guys want to see it in action um, setups different things like that so you know how I use the controller and and 
see what I've picked up for myself. Uh, so until next time guys, uh, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you on the next video.